Hi, I'm Dominique, and today we're going to talk about how video lights reproduce color, sometimes well and sometimes not so well. The Color Rendering Index, also known as CRI, is an industry standard metric of how well a light visually reproduces color. In video lights, the CRI describes how accurately a specific light renders color for photography. And this is important for product photography and critical for skin tones. So, in today's demonstration, we'll be using the new C700 spectrometer for Siconic to measure the ability of a number of lights to reproduce correct color. And we're starting outdoors because the sun can typically be used as a reference for near-perfect color reproduction. So let's take a measurement and explain why that is. As you can see, the sun produces a complete spectrum of colors with the color temperature at approximately 5700 Kelvin. Looking at the color patches, a value of 100 means the light can accurately render an object of that color. A value of 85 is typically considered a threshold of acceptability. A value near zero means that the light will cause a very visible and unacceptable shift in the color of the object. In this data from the C700, we can see that the sun reproduces all 15 color patches nearly perfect with a rendering average over 99. The sun is obviously a very good light source. A tungsten lamp, such as this Desisti 1K, is primarily an infrared source that puts out a small fraction of its power as visible light. So let's take a measurement and see how it performs. This tungsten light measures 3300 Kelvin. As shown in the spectrum, this means the light is biased toward red. Since the light lacks blue, rebalancing this light toward daylight would be extremely inefficient and there are likely better options. However, a tungsten light produces a full spectrum of colors, and it has a color rendering over 99 for all 15 patches, meaning the light is excellent at accurately reproducing the color of an object on camera. An HMI lamp, like the Film Gear 1.2K, is a more advanced fixture that produces a color temperature close to daylight. So let's take a measurement and see how the HMI lamp performs. This lamp has a color temperature around 6100 Kelvin which is just slightly bluer than daylight. However, unlike daylight, the spectrum contains many spikes. When we look at the color rendering, the HMI shows low color accuracy in all colors except dark green when compared with a natural light source. A fluorescent lamp internally emits ultraviolet light that excites the phosphor coating on the inside of a glass tube. That phosphor then emits visible light. Here, our Kino Flow kits generally come with two types of bulbs, K32 and K55, to match both tungsten and daylight respectively. So, let's take a measurement and see how it performs. One thing you'll immediately see are the spikes in the spectrum from the phosphor coating in both model of bulbs. The K32 bulb has a color temperature of 3100 Kelvin, which matches tungsten very well, and the K55 bulb has a color temperature of 6600 Kelvin which is bluer than daylight. When we look at the color rendering of the K32 bulb, the average is nearly 91, with only four color patches showing slightly compromised color accuracy when compared to tungsten. The K55 bulb also shows a respectable color rendering average of 89, with the major difference being a larger shift in deep red when compared to real daylight. A white LED is actually a blue LED with the phosphor coating. It's the phosphor coating that emits the green and red parts of the spectrum. And here, we have the P360 by Felix. So, let's take a measurement and see how well it matches daylight. In the spectrum, you can clearly see a blue spike caused by the blue LED. The lump in the green and red parts of the spectrum come mainly from the phosphor coating. The color temperature measurement shows a value of 5700 Kelvin, very similar to daylight. The spectrometer shows the color rendering average is 92, with only bright yellow showing a slight compromise in accuracy when compared to daylight. In use, we found this particular brand seems to produce a very nice color on camera. Plasma lights, like this Hive B, are a relatively new product in video lighting and produce a light similar to daylight. So, let's take a measurement and see how close it actually gets to daylight. This plasma light measures a color temperature around 5300 Kelvin, which is close to daylight. However, unlike daylight, the spectrum peaks in green and falls off more rapidly toward deep red. The spectrometer shows a color rendering average of about 95, which is an excellent rating overall. Only the color accuracy of the deep red patch is compromised when compared to daylight. 
As a do-it-yourself comparison, I'm going to measure an LED bulb and a fluorescent bulb from the hardware store. Both these bulbs are supposed to emulate tungsten lights. So let's take a measurement and see how well they do. We can easily identify the bulb type from the characteristic shape of the spectrum. The blue spike is from the LED light and the spiky spectrum is from the fluorescent light. The LED bulb measured a color rendering average of 83 and the fluorescent bulb measured 85, which means both lights show visible shifts when compared with a real tungsten bulb. If we look at the color rendering patches for either bulb, the hardware store LED bulb shows compromises in color accuracy in the majority of color patches. The home fluorescent bulb fares better with compromises in color quality in half the color patches. However, neither seem to have a very good ability to reproduce colors as accurately as a real tungsten light. An interesting coincidence happened when we filmed this tutorial. We used the shop's overhead fluorescent lights and noticed that the color rendering of skin tones turned orange, but we were able to bring it back to normal with color correction in post. Hopefully this gives you insight on how video lights reproduce colors on camera. Color rendering is just one factor in choosing the right light for your project, and we look forward to helping you. Take care. Hey, if you love gear and knowledge as much as we do, then subscribe to our channel by clicking our logo. Here are a couple more videos for your enjoyment.